What's up, P Nation? It's a warm summer day here in Antarctica, and we're outside to tell you about some of the cool things that we found here, starting with NASA. from the McMurdo station we have a field camp that's called long duration balloon or LDB we were fortunate enough to get a really quick tour of the facility and while we were there it was like the worst snowstorm we had gotten the entire season so we really couldn't talk about it while we were there we were just trying to like get some really quick shots while our fingers were literally freezing <laughs> we got to enter the tallest building on skis in the entire world. It's three stories high. The camp itself is about 20 minutes from McMurdo, and this year three balloons were launched successfully into the atmosphere to be then recollected by helicopter when they came back down to Earth. This field camp is where they perform balloon launches to measure and gather data from particulates in the atmosphere. So these balloons are the size of stadiums. And to dumb it down, this year, the balloon sent machines up to capture data to help figure out how life began on Earth, which is crazy. And in order to do that, they had to freeze these particulates in the atmosphere to negative four Kelvin, which is really cold. So some of these launches are in association with NASA, which is pretty cool, but some are just funded by universities back in the States. on Ross Island, the New Zealanders. The New Zealanders live just 10 minutes away at Scott Base, the main New Zealand station here in Antarctica. It is so much more interesting having the Kiwis around because you kind of like get the sense that you're in an international space station, which is rather fitting considering we're at one of the most isolated and desolate places on the planet. But yeah, Scott Base is located just on the other side of Observation Hill with a spectacular view of the ice and the wildlife and pressure ridges. They have such a cool setup down there. There are approximately 80 to 90 New Zealanders on the base at all times, or at least during the summer months. And that's about 10% of the McMurdo population. So they're re relatively small. But it's kind of cool. So they come over to the US base often just because there are so few of them. And on certain nights of the week, the Americans can actually go over to the Scott base for American night where we can go hang out at their bar, go to their store, you know, hang out with them. Just because there's so many of us, they can't have us there all the time because we, you know, I don't know, overcrowd the place. And it's also interesting to know that New Zealand and the US work together shipping supplies down here by cargo plane and cargo ships, which brings us to Vessel Week. week has actually turned out to be like vessel month this year um, so once a year in February a huge cargo ship comes down and unloads you know like a year's worth of food research supplies for next year different machineries that they need to get things done around here this year it's not just one but two 
and an oil tanker. So for the past month or so, McMurdo has been invaded by the US Navy and Coast Guard to help offload huge cargo ships with 80 million pounds of equipment, which is a crazy amount of stuff. And the oil tanker delivers 12 million gallons of oil which is an amount that I can't even comprehend. And I think that's more than just one year's worth of oil. I think it's like they give, they replenish it so that just in case like, I don't know, the apocalypse happens or something that they can last for a few years. I don't really know the reason, but it's kind of fun having newcomers come in. We've been isolated for so long down here with the same community and to have the Coast Guard arrive and they're kind of fun. And then we have Coastioki, which is Coast Guard karaoke and they really enjoy that. So we're gonna have some fun coming up in the few weeks we have left here. Okay, and that is it for this video. We're gonna show you some cool highlight reels of different seals, penguins, and the vessel coming in and out. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.